Guys, I'm taking an FTMO challenge. Hopefully you're gonna watch me turn 40K into 44K in one month. In this video, I'm gonna give you a recap of my first two days trading on the FTMO challenge. Let's go. Hi guys, it's Eni, aka The Not Trader, your friendly neighbor swing trader, back again with another video. Remember to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and hit that alert button to get alerts on all my latest videos. Okay, so I don't know how I'm really going to format this um, series, but I'm just going to give you recaps um, on a maybe daily basis of where I'm at with my FTMO challenge. Now, obviously, doing this is going to give me way more pressure. Not only am I accountable to myself, but I'm accountable to my audience now because you all know my progression. But it's going to be good content, and maybe this pressure is going to make me not do stupid trades because I know the audience are going to ridicule me if I do something dumb first off the bat yes there's two logins for the challenge and then there's one for the free trial is because i did a free trial first just to see how to play around with with mt4 and then hold my hand up i did a challenge on august the 6th and i failed i failed after like seven days You're a loser. Um, i'm gonna make another video about why i failed the first time around but now i'm back and i started another challenge on the 12th of august so let's take a look at my account stats so already uh, <laughs> i did start off really well i nearly hit 12k on the first day let's take a look into my stats so so right now I started on the 12th, um, it's on it's the 14th, so it's two days I've, I've traded so far. So there's been two trade days I've been trading. My max daily loss, I nearly got to my max daily loss, I nearly went halfway, so I lost 1,177, that was all on the first day. And um, and obviously I'm down 182 pounds um, in terms of my profit so far, so I'm actually down. As you can see from this chart here. The first day was abysmal, it was terrible. Uh, I was just making loss after loss. I don't know what was happening, but then I called it back today. Um, it's not really an issue. I'm, I'm actually really good at coming back from losses. If anything, I think that's that's my strong suit. That's my problem. I, I trade better from a position of, of weakness than a position of strength. Whenever I'm up too much, sometimes I get a little bit too flagrant and I do silly things. But when I'm down, I'm quite tight with my trades and I know how to claw back a wins. Um, it's something I need to work on psychologically because every time I'm down, I've got the confidence to know I can get back up again. Um, but I need to trade like that even when I'm up. Day one, I lost a thousand and two pounds, one thousand one hundred and two pounds. Day two, I, I made eight hundred ninety-four pounds. I'm not going to go into the actual uh, technical analysis um, of of the trades I made because I kind of go over these type of trades in my um, weekly uh, Sunday live streams. If you want to check my last live stream, I actually went through the breakdown of the stocks I was going to trade. So if you want to if you want to check that out, just check my last live stream. I took one hundred and twenty-one trades. Way too many trades. I think that was my issue. Way too many trades. Thirty-three percent success rate not good enough normally i'm around 40 42 um when on my normal account i'm around 40 42 so i don't need to lift that up average risk to reward to 1.9 mm, it's all right expectancy i don't even know what that means to be honest profit factor 0 0.95 which is why i'm in a loss i need to get that pop above one but hopefully i'll do that once i start getting into the green again um and uh yeah so that this is where i'm at so far i'm i'm down so i started with 40,000 euros for four, yeah 40,000 euros i'm at 39,817 it's not too much of an issue i know i can claw it back the 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 target is 10% in one month and that is really doable i made 800 pounds today forget about that loss before i made 800 pounds today so if i can do that maybe two three more times then um I'm, I'm laughing i'm i'm gonna be in the green so it's all right three four more times sorry so it shouldn't be too much of an issue i just need to tighten up my trade so i made myself this little um excel and just to track my trades myself so i'm just gonna walk you through it so i've got 24 trading days because obviously it's a month but obviously you can't trade the weekends unless you want to trade bitcoin so what i did was that i set the dates i gave myself all of the dates i put it here all the dates here on the left of um of let me let me put myself to the right actually so all my dates here of the days that I can trade and if I was to make the same amount each day to get to the 4,000, I'd have to make 166 pounds a day. So that's kind of like um, what I need to, my target needs to be the cumulative target. So I should have made 333 pounds by day two. Obviously I'm down, so I didn't do that. I made more than that, but I, but I was clawing back a loss. So I'm, a, I'm not up 333 pounds. So this orange line denotes like where I should be when to hit my target. And obviously, if I'm above that line, that means I'm exceeding my target. And if I'm below it, that means I'm underneath it. So right now I'm below it, but I'm clawing it back. Um, yeah, first day I made a loss. 
and the daily return so i made a two percent loss and my account was down yeah 2.76 percent and this just tells you where your account is so i just made a little bit airy hair so obviously i need to make forty four thousand pounds well four thousand pounds but there's forty thousand pound account so i need a total of forty four thousand pounds daily loss is 2k max loss is 4k and daily target is um 600 pounds i just gave that my i gave that my own daily target so i want to make that 1.5 percent a day that's quite aggressive um but easily doable easily doable i made 800 pounds today well nearly 900 so easily doable um just need to cut out the crap and not make losses like that that's how much left i need to make so i need 4208 pounds left to make um i'm currently and i'm currently down 0.52 percent which is what that is anyway so yeah that's just a, a little show shows you my little excel that i made for myself and this is just a line so this orange yellow line dictates where i'm at now and this orange line dictates um my um daily target and if i'm below or above it now these dots these little gray dots i don't know if you can see them i'm gonna i'm gonna make it bigger just for you guys these gray dots what they denote let me make it another color actually so these white dots what they are is the um they're the percentage um the daily percentage I made. So obviously my target is about 1.5. So if I'm making 1.5 or above, then I'm, I'm exceeding my target. These three dots, I don't know why they're there. I think it's just because I've, I've got numbers in here. So let me delete that. So um, obviously I've only done the first two days. Um, so I made <laughs> minus 3% uh, the first day. I made uh, just over 2%, so 2.24% the second day. Obviously my target is 1.5, so th there's like a little line here that I could probably draw just to let you know what my target is. Um, so yeah, this is how I'm tracking my trades and um, making sure that I'm, I'm staying on top of uh, my target. So as long as this yellow line is above this orange line, then I'm in, I'm in the money. So I just need to start clawing back this uh, little by little just to make sure that I'm above, um, I'm, I'm exceeding my targets. I've been looking at a lot of different indices lately and trading those so I thought let me look at all of them at the same time I know a lot of the other traders do that so I thought let me try this this setup and see how it works for me it's pretty good um, I still like my other one but I just toggle between the two so yeah I've just zoomed it out now so obviously this includes all 24 days I just did the first eight days just so that I can zoom in but yeah so this is all 24 days so this is where we're at in the long run so by the 20 the 14th of of uh, august i should have passed hopefully we'll see to be honest we only need 10 days to pass once you hit the 10 day mark if you hit the four thousand pounds then you can you've completed it but um i'm just playing it conservative so if it, if it takes me the full month then this is how i need to play it so just looking back on some of my trades i made most of my money towards the end of the day well not towards the end of the day i started shorting towards the end of the day and i made quite a bit of money here um middle of the day was just kind of just a lot of silly trades to be honest i need to stop that i seem to make more money on my longs than my shorts which is weird because on my on my live account i normally make most of my money on my shorts but yeah it's interesting and no surprise there i made i made quite a lot of money on euro us dollar and on the dax dax is my bread and butter as you guys probably know made a little bit on the asx as well so um yeah so then the other ones i've been i lost a bit of money so i lost some money on footsie i hate footsie i need to stop trading that and the the us cad us cad was annoying because i i got the trade right but i i timed it wrong i forgot that there was news coming out um on the canadian interest rate so the mark there was low volume up until the interest rate was announced and then it started selling off but by then i was out of the trade it's quite annoying but um these things happen oh yeah and i also made myself a little makeshift uh calculator because all these lot sizes are hard to calculate it's not like ig where it just tells you how much you're trading so i have to do the calculations in my head before i put on uh, um, a trade so i don't put the wrong volume size and end up like 10 times more 10 times less than what i thought i was trading so i made myself a little uh, entry stop loss take profit volume and then it calculates um how much i'm risking and how much my take profit is and then i put a little uh thing here just so i know how what volume size is equated to 400 pounds in pit points because obviously 400 pounds is uh, one one percent of the account so if i want to trade one percent i just know how to do the calculation straight away so it's just a little little thing here that i did for myself um let me zoom in so you guys can see it's nothing special it's just a little little excel and i am five percent and five pound per five pound per point the volume that i trade five pounds that's where i make my most money or 50p so five pound 50p yeah that's where i make my money so yeah um guys let me know what type of format you want me to take these do you want me to just go through the technical analysis on my uh, pro real time because even though i am um, using mt4 
actually let me show you the mt4 so right now i'm still in i'm in two trades right now i'm actively in two trades i'm long euro us dollar and i'm long gold if you want to know why i'm long us us if you want to know why i'm long gold and long euro us dollar follow me on twitter i post all my uh, all my chart analysis there or join my discord group And if you want to check out my video as to why I failed the first time round, I'm going to make another video. It's in the top right hand corner. If it's not there, then I haven't made it yet. But if it is, check that video out. I'm going to try and make these videos on a daily basis and let me know how what type of format I should take. Should I just do analysis of, of the stats of the day or should I deep dive into the trades that I made and why I made them? Uh, just let me know in the comment section below. It's any AKA the not trader signing out.